This is 17-year-old Jonathan Lewis. If you haven't heard about him yet, I'm not surprised. Jonathan Lewis lives in Nevada. He has a younger friend. That younger friend was stolen from and thrown into a trash can by a group of 15 boys. So he stood up for his younger friend and the 15 boys beat him to death for it. He was found on November 1st and he died from his injuries on November 7th. His father sat in the hospital with him while he was on life support for six days. He's asking for justice. My question would be for the media that's barely covered this at all. Why aren't y'all calling this a hate crime? Now, I think making this situation about race takes away the accountability from each of the individual criminals that did this. But the hypocrisy is astounding because if this was 15 white boys brutally beating a single black boy to death, there'd already be marches in the streets and Joe Biden would have been sent that family flowers. Look at every headline of a black man who was unjustly assaulted by just one white man. Black man this, white man that. Black man jumped by white men. Black man, white man. Look at the very popular Montgomery brawl. That black man was getting jumped by those racist white men, even though we can't prove that they were actually racist. And then all of those other black men jumped in. Yeah, black power, black excellence. You would never see that with this. And this is the issue. Because when you make all of those other situations about race, especially when they don't need to be, you do an incredible disservice to situations like this. Because now people are asking valid questions like, well, why aren't we talking about the race right now? Instead of asking why 15 boys, regardless of race, decided to brutally murder a single boy, regardless of race, in broad daylight. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what walk of life you from. This is absolutely heartbreaking. And the way the media likes to cherry pick their hate crime narrative is absolutely unacceptable.